Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Monster Train. Um, so, I've been playing a lot of this game. I got stuck on, I think, either getting to three or getting past three. Uh, but I actually won and got to four, five, six, and now I'm up to seven with a huge win streak. I don't even know why. And this is the, this is the, th these are the two that do it. So here's the killer, right? Every single one of these actually has two champions. So this is the normal guy, and he comes with the little torches, and then this girl comes with imps, and this is an imp building deck. And then this guy's a tank, but this guy you put buffs on. And then this guy's a mind flayer with frostbite, whereas this dude just has normal damage. And then this is the dude who gathers steam, but this dude gets eaten a bunch and he lets someone else gather steam. And this means that you don't need to have, because with this dude, you need to make every single card in your deck somebody who can buff this dude. But if somebody gets past him, then you've wasted your champion. And that's a problem. But with this guy, you can buff anyone else. Uh, and then I did unlock melting. I, I don't care about these guys though. I really don't like how they play. So I haven't even unlocked the secondary one. But I'm gonna show off this dude because, damn. Um, and I'm gonna do it on the highest difficulty I have unlocked because I'm really enjoying it, all right? <laughs> uh, damage shield for reasons. So this is the killer, right? Eden, add this unit's health, damage, and status effects to the Eater. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll stick with that. Everyone's getting damage shield, so it'll probably be fine for them to have more attack. So I put this dude out front, and then this guy. And then we can start putting buffs on. Less fortunate, but that's okay. So the status is right. So now that has regen on. And then that regen goes on to this dude. So we can put damage shield on him. And this, and this. And then all of these things are gonna go onto him. They're gonna go onto our lead. That's why this is so good. Because you can just keep putting bigger, huger buffs onto. This. You can keep putting bigger, huger buffs on and keep getting more. Let's go with Morsel Maker. Get it buffing, dude. Let's get an Umber unit and see if we can get a really killer champion. Yes. And we have some dudes as well, so let's start making them bigger and fatter. And then we'll put that dude there. I'm running my washing machine, so if you hear scary noises in the background, that's what it is. FYI. Perfect. Perfect. So he's not going to take that damage. <laughs> oh, he lost it with the spikes. That's unfortunate. Oh good, we got it. 
Excellent. We'll save those because they get consumed. take that hit it's only eight so yeah now that dude's been eaten so yeah he has the unique ability that he can just keep being eaten but you can see that he's put regen seven on as opposed to putting like you know a more as opposed to me just casting regen on that guy and then now there's five regen on him. put five on and then that just keeps going on at the same time So it's a really, really interesting deck. It's a really, really weird, unusual build. Let's move some guys around, huh? Hmm. A lot of good picks there. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this game. And like, I, I even got a win streak, and those were all just me, like. But let's put stuff to make him bigger and better. And then, yeah. Because I don't have the money. But this might cost him. Heard something in a car. Okay. I don't need this many planks. You can get Umbra or Woke. Let's go with... Eh. Actually, no, getting multi strike is pretty good. That's great. I'm really, I'm really skittish about Umber, Ember Drain stuff. Ember Drain stops your money from coming in, it stops this from filling up. Okay. So, the main problem with this dude is that he sucks on his own. And you just, you need a guy. You, ne you need someone there, you know? You need somebody to stand in front of him and, and take those chomps, you know? But if you don't get that, we'll, we'll talk, you know? Uh, so one thing about this dude that is great is that every time he heals someone, oh, this might have been a miss button. Every time he heals someone, he cultivates two, which means he puts more stuff on them. Which means that as he is healing uh, our champ, his points keep going up. Okay, got one. That's all we can do. See, with, with a deck like this where you're putting a lot of morsels on, the, the game really becomes like a thing of like, we just need more dudes. We need the ability to put more dudes on. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. This is good because this gives us this gives us energy. Eating these guys will give us energy, and we have Ember Drain now, which means that we will be missing out of energy. So Ember Drain four, we lose four at the start of the next turn. And we go back down to thing one. So yeah, that's kind of lame. A Morsel Miner is, I think, the, the strongest Morsel. Um, yeah, I think it's the strongest kind of Morsel. Because it gives just flat six and six. So he might actually get killed here. I, I didn't check. I should have. Wow. Surviving on one hit point. And no damage taken that time either. That's pretty great.
How's Kermit? Can give us more room, please. <laughs> um, we don't need to take anything out. I do want the cash. We need more of this. More eating. That's good. I guess I'll take one of you. Keep off it. So yeah, now we put damage shield on. And now that status will automatically go on to whoever it's being put on. So we drop you here. And you're gonna gain He's gonna gain one damage shield every time he eats anyway. So he's gonna get two here, and then he's gonna get another one from this. So it's possible to buff his buffet stat and, and keep getting more of that. I need to put you here just to get that. It's possible to buff the buffet stat and just keep letting him get eaten. And like, when he eats every, every time, he'll just eat more and more, you know? Let's give him more health. Hmm. You can do damage, so let's put you there, huh? And you're gonna survive otherwise. Damn it, right, the incant. Well, he was gonna survive one way or another. Little four is dead, that's not good. Let's see if we can't pump that up a bit. Okay. So yeah, and then when someone has damage shield on, then that means that they can just take whatever health damage and nothing matters, you know? Down. Yeah, just the, the problem is that like when you're building steam down here, like sometimes you just physically don't have the, the ability to Hmm. Oh, we're good. Okay. Sometimes you just physically do not have the ability to build up enough a big enough guy, you know, before before some dudes slip past, and so you end up taking damage early. But then when you get to the boss, it's fine. You know, normally you would see it like, oh, the boss is kicking my ass and I'm gonna lose, but or th these guys are kicking my ass, so the boss is definitely gonna kick my ass. But it's not actually like that. Okay. Hmm. I do like the money. Money, more units. Wh who, who's in here? Higher health than an artifact, though. We already do have a lot of money. That's pretty great. The animation didn't play fully. Weird. <laughs> The more I can get cards out of my deck is usually the better. Hold over. Great. Now that this is an X card with minus one, it'll automatically just do something. That way we can verifiably, manifestably 
get a hold of way more stuff. This guy's such a problem. I don't need the money. I still have a lot of cash that I haven't spent. Damn, really? Shame. Hmm. On you, I suppose? that he is the one who keeps getting that is kind of funny. So let's put you out in front and pop that onto you and give you a damage shield and put even more on there. And just get rid of you. Actually, does the sweep take effect on the stealth guys? It looks like it doesn't. Okay, we got back some, so we can get back more later. That's fine. Put that on you. Let's give you more juice. Okay. It's going well. I feel like we don't have like a like a proper champion as of such. You know what I mean? Like as ordinarily what we what we would be doing is we would have one awesome champion. But we're just having a bit of a problem where, like... The, the dude that we put all of our juice onto is not... You know, the champion. And we need somebody else to do that for us. Oh, great. Not bad. Let's get another feast. Let's get new graft. Trinkets, huh? That will be fun. Uh, double down on Gorge. And the first time an enemy unit dies, give me more morsels. Great. That's incredibly useful. Fell. Okay, Fell has killed me a lot. Oh yeah, the screen tearing. I love it. Really, dude? That's just... That's not right. Uh, it'll be really nice to... Yeah. I can take five. That's fine. I can take more than five. The little pyre things give you more than... They give you like 20 each, I think, what I say? I think it's 20. Alright, and then more of that onto you. So these, these statues just sit here and, and block fell, of course. Which is a problem because you need to hit her to try to do some damage before the boss, like, starts. I need to keep doing this just to keep rocking hold over. Yeah, that's him. 
I can take we can do that we can we can do that later when we have more of a thing built up already okay now we're getting to a problem where I don't have that many dudes actually with me those dudes back in the back. Okay, cool. Okay. Now what we need to do is get somebody who can... Hmm. Okay, let's do this. This will kill you. You keep being a problem for me. Let's get this out of there. Let's put that on you. And then let's feast down here. Yeah. And then we'll put some down. I think that works. silly thing to like fight with morsels you know okay It's gonna at least take it's below 90, which means it'll be three cycles of 30 damage each from the fire. And not the spire. Yeah, so that's three. And three times six is just 18, so. That could definitely be better, but. Oh, I could have done something. I could have really done something there, huh? I should have started with that, huh? That would have been smarter. <laughs> so it actually is possible, just like with Slay the Spire, to quit out and then come back in. But that's kind of cheap, so I don't necessarily need to do that. Alright, we chomp. Shift you. You know, if I had just done that one turn smarter, then we wouldn't be in this position, I think. Let's just scooch ahead here, huh? Okay. Let's do more Ember Strikes with uh, this guy. Let's do that. And then we'll just play morsels because I like playing morsels. All right, not bad. Took way too much damage. Trample is useful. We need more of that. It's all great over here then. 
Lifesteal is good. That way we can just always get that back. More. Yeah. And then... This is actually better. Because this lets him be eaten more. Well... I don't know. Because this just means 12 will go on to whoever eats him. In full. And this means 10. But in that time, we can put more buffs on. More, more, more buffs. Which might be what we want. I'm gonna leave off Spell Shield. I feel pretty good about my deck. Still nothing, huh? Okay, well then in that case, it's time to show this exploit. So in case you just get a really bad draw and you say, hey, let's let's start building guys up here. Let's just do that just to get another draw next turn. Still no one good, huh? do, I guess. The speed is still high from last time, which is fine. Let's do it like that. I don't need to win this one or anything. Yeah, see, then we can keep putting more on. More buffs. Make these big guys even bigger. Turn that down just because that's a bit much, I feel. Cool. Let's start buffing you up down here, huh? It would be kind of lame if I was, like, if I end up buffing this dude so much that he, that he wins this fight for me. a lot. I like that. Okay, so now this normal, standard, regular dude is is now just super beefed. Which is, again, the appeal of this sort of deck. Of just, let's just put more guys on, you know? Let's have you do something legendary, huh? I really didn't expect this episode to go as long as it has. I was kind of thinking that I would like have a loss at some point because I've, I've literally, I have a win streak going on.
Wow, yeah, he didn't survive. Ain't that crazy. Yeah, we're losing a lot from up here, which might end up hurting us in the long run, but... Hmm. Look, gotta get the cash, and also gotta get the dough. Old adage of my family. Oh, I could have put a merchant thing on and then duplicated it. <laughs> hey, how about that? <laughs> okay. Damn it. This one's really good. It can really get you out of some tough situations, because by the time you're hitting, like, 20, there's probably dudes on every floor, if you're kind of being overwhelmed. as hell. Let's just do that again. So the big problem with Seraph is that Seraph gets stronger and buffer every time you're casting something. I don't remember if I've talked about this or not, but that is the case. I just heard in my apartment. What goes on here, huh? So yeah, see me casting that would buff her. Uh, this does a lot of damage. It's too bad. Put you there. More damage shields. Yeah, we don't even have somewhere to put these, so even though they're free, I gotta I just gotta leave them somewhere. So yeah, having a build that lets you get a lot, a lot of damage shield is really helpful on Seraph because Seraph keeps getting stronger and her damage is already gigantic. And so to have her damage just, you know, start huge and get huger, it's very useful. Well, how about that? All right. Fantastic. I might even win, honestly. That would be kind of weird, to be frank. To just have another win in the street. Like, I feel like I, I shouldn't be recording it if I, if I don't win. Like, it's weird. All right. Hmm. Let's save that, because that'll just, that'll stay. We can keep doing stuff with that. All right. Now we've got some morsels that we can throw around. Let's make your health bigger. Let's make your damage shield go up. Let's give you life steal so you're always getting more health. So you can cultivate yourself. And then just generic bonuses go on you. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, that's going to be three cycles with him. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's bad. Could be better, at least. All right. More big damage. Oh, let's give you the health. You'll need it. And let's apply more more damage to you. All these guys are going to die upstairs. And then we're just going to... We're going to see some killing downstairs. Yeah, that's bad. Could be better. Could be a lot better. Smart. Finally. I did it correctly. So if she has Ember Drain and then she dies, that's fine. She's got Trample, and she's got Multi-Strike up. So that means she's going to do 104, and then 104 a second time. And whatever isn't, and whatever goes over is going to go into this guy. So he's going to take 102. And then when she eats everything, a bunch of dudes in the back are going to take this as well. Okay, he took 93 on that, on that swing. Okay. That's fine. Right, 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 right. Okay. Oh! The damage is really good, though. And her health is also gigantic. Wow, that's, that's kind of crazy. So yeah, that's uh, Covenant rank seven. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's a really, really good deck. Once you unlock that, that's a really, 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 really solid deck. I really can't gush about it enough. Um, hell yeah. And now I have gold for all of those. And yeah, we have more Edens. We have two of those gold cards. And you can see that, like, I clearly favor the Umbra, but I also have a good chunk of Awoken. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is real good. This is doing a lot of work, getting a lot of stuff done. Uh, so yeah, I kind of do want to show off all of the other, like, secondary dudes, but like, I'm just, I'm doing so well with this one, I, I really don't want to play with the other ones. Like, I, it's, it's not even that I, I, you know, don't want to show it, I do, I just don't want to be the one playing it. It's just a really, really solid deck. I love this game. Uh, this is Monster Train on Steam, again. You get a lot of really, really solid gameplay here. And it just... Man, it's good. I enjoy it. It's a little easier than Slay the Spire. It's really easier than most roguelikes, I would say. Um, but, like... I, I, get a, I get a good feeling of accomplishment because I am putting a lot of new, cool stuff into it. I am getting a lot of stuff done here. Uh, but, yeah. I, I do want to record stuff for all of the next guys, but... We'll, we'll see how that goes. I might keep going up in the Covenants. Uh, but until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Monster Train. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.